In this example, I want to show you how you can use reference lines and some constraints to define and build robust sketches. So right here on the screen, you can see I've got a fully defined sketch, and there's technically nothing wrong with what I have here. However, if you look at it, there's a lot of redundancy, right? If you look at dimensions, like this dimension here is the same as this dimension over here. You got a dimension here, you've got these 90 degree angles everywhere that's defining the shape of what this thing is. Uh, you got a couple different holes. They happen to be the same size, but they're dimensioned separately, right? You've got a couple dimensions, like this one inch here, this one inch here. And there's just a lot of work that's been put into creating this sketch that you really don't need to do. And in fact, if you needed to modify the, the design later on, it would be a lot of work because you have to go back and modify all these individual dimensions. You can see there's just a ton of dimensions here. We can pretty much design this thing with only a handful of dimensions and it's gonna be way more robust and easy to work with. So let's go ahead and just do a few of the low hanging fruit right from the beginning. Okay, you got three inch dimension here, you got a three inch dimension here. Well, instead of dimensioning both sides, why don't we make a dimension or, or add a constraint that says, hey, how about this line right here? I'm gonna hold down shift, I'm gonna select this other line over here. Here are my constraints, I can say, hey, let's make these guys equal, right? And as soon as I do that, everything goes back to being fully defined. So I've been defining it only one place, which is this three inches here, and it's gonna be used on both sides, okay? Uh, you've got all these 90 degree angles here. Like, you know, if I delete that, it's gonna make all these other things undefined because it doesn't know uh, what the angle is. But you don't have to type in a specific angle here. What you can do is you can, of course, you can add in, so hold it down, shift, select a couple different lines, go to constraints, I can say, hey, let's just make these guys perpendicular, right? And so I've replaced an angle with a constraint. Same thing over here, right? Get rid of that one there. And I, again, we're just gonna select a couple different lines, and we can grab the constraints from there, or you can come up here and say, hey, let's make these guys perpendicular. And we're just cleaning it up as we go. Okay, now when you create lines originally, notice over here, I'm just gonna create a line. So here's a line, and it's going to be horizontal, right? And if I go to the vertical, notice I automatically get that perpendicularity. It, it pops up right when it's vertical, right? If you click there, it'll automatically add that in for you. So make sure when you're drawing these type of lines, you're automatically getting these type of constraints added for you. Otherwise, it's gonna take you a lot longer time. So I'll do the same thing again if I make a line and I get close to the vertical, but I don't get that little pop-up. I click, okay, hey, looks good, but it's like, eh, it looks good, but it really isn't, right? So if you actually dimension this and you say, hey, from here to here, it's actually 88.73, right? Um, so looking good is not necessarily the right answer. Right? You, you gotta make sure you have that perpendicularity, or if you didn't catch it the first time, go back, select those couple different lines, come to the constraints, and then add it in, and now you have that. So definitely wanna make sure you're, you're automatically getting these constraints or adding them so you don't have these robust, or so you don't have these, these models that have just kind of things that look good, but they're not perfect. So we're looking for robust sketches that we can modify and change easily. Okay, same thing up here. Let's go ahead and delete a couple of these guys over here. We don't want those. Let's go ahead and add the constraints in and you gotta select both the lines and you're gonna grab that one right there a lot easier okay the other thing i want to point out is this is symmetrical right everything on the right hand side is the same as it is on the left hand side so you know do we need to really do all this work two times can i just go and grab a line and say hey i'm gonna snap a center line or, or a construction line right down the center of this thing and then just delete half of this. And then once you've got it, half of it deleted, you can just mirror it over, right? That's probably the best way you could do this design is just take all the stuff and just mirror it directly over. The same thing is, is notice like here's the origin way over here. Why don't we have the origin right in the center? That would make a lot more sense by putting the origin there. So let's go ahead and delete these dimensions. Why are we, why are we pushing this off to the side? That doesn't make any sense. Let's get rid of those things. Right, and you have this line that's defining where these things are. And if I release that, now this whole thing's kind of floating, right? So now I can come over here and say, hey, you know, I want to snap that midpoint uh, or that line to the midpoint here so that I know exactly that I'm on center. I have a plane now going right down the center of my park, okay? Now, I'm not gonna delete half of it and just mirror it for this example, just cause I wanna show you a few other ones that we can do here. So um, how about these guys up here? These one inch, one inch, one inch dimensions, right? Or, or these guys. Let's delete one of these for sure. Grab the other one, select both of those, add a constraint, let's just make them equal, right? So that way if you change one, let's change it to like one inch, 
they both change, right? If you want to change it back, you're only changing one, and they go back to the way where they were, okay? Um, dimensions like these up here, right? Um, this line, I could say, hey, you know, instead of making this 90 degrees, you know, I could say, hey, I already know this is perpendicular here. Um, let's add a constraint here between this line and maybe that line there. Add that perpendicularity. Saves us a lot of time. Yeah, and it starts just deleting all these things that are redundant, right? We don't need all these uh, values that are the same, right? So two inches here, two inches here. Get rid of it, right? And then just start adding some equals, right? So I'm going to hold down shift, grab a couple of different things, make them equal, right? Uh, over here, this two-inch dimension here. And if you don't know what's wrong or why it's showing up as, like, undefined, you know, grab one of these points and try to pull it around. Like, whoa, what happened there? Like, that, the whole thing just got messed up. Um, but that's okay, right? We can come up here and say, well, okay, to fix this, this line, hold down shift, that line um, right here, and add that perpendicularity. Now it's there. Now you can see over here we got a little problem. So you can still grab that corner and go, oh, wait, wait, what is happening? This is not right, you know? So same thing over here is, you know, I could say I could make that perpendicular, or I could say, hey, let's just say this is a vertical line, right? And then everything fixes itself magically. Look at that. Um, how about one inch here, one inch here? Instead of doing that, why don't we do something like a line or a center line and snap it together? So I could say like, hey, from here to here, I can snap to that line, I could snap to that line. Then I can define this line and that line, and I could say, hey, I'm gonna select both these guys, add a constraint, they're gonna be equal, and it says, hey, well, wait, 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 we can't do that because we already have these dimensions. So let's go ahead and delete these other dimensions, right? And I want to get rid of that one as well, All right? But now we have it defined. So now I can say this line, hold on, shift, grab the other one, and make them equal, right? And um, let's see what else is going on here. So these, for some reason, aren't uh, collinear, right? So click on this one here, hold down, shift, constraints, and we're going to make those guys collinear, right? And so now everything's fully defined. It's, it's back to being uh, all black sketches. And it's looking good, right? We've got a lot less dimension. We have a two inch dimension here. We have a three inch dimension here. We've got a one inch and a one inch and which is defining both those holes and we're defining the size only one time. Now, if you wanted to be even more fancy, like instead of this one inch dimension, because you know it's two inches on this side, basically that's in the middle, right? So another way of doing that would be just delete that out of there, grab yourself a line and I can go from the top to the bottom and snap that in there. And I could say that center point and that line, and we want to put that at the midpoint, uh, which is right down here, so mid line constraint, right? And just by adding that little line in there, it automatically makes it in the center. And this is, makes it more robust because like, look, if I go over here and I change this to three inches, it's still in the center, right? If, whether it's like, if I had the one inch dimension, it wouldn't have moved, it would stay one inch from the top. And maybe you do want it to be one inch from the top, I don't know, it depends on your, on your design. But if you always want that to be centered, this is a lot more robust, right? It's gonna always modify and change as needed. Same thing over here, you could say, well, you know, instead of a one inch dimension here, you could add another line here and say, maybe these couple lines are the same length or something like that. But anyways, the whole point of this video is to show you that there's a lot of ways you can design something and they're not necessarily right or wrong, but some techniques like using some reference lines or constraints will allow your design to be a lot more robust and easy to change in the future and not so clunky and prone to errors. So anyways, definitely take a look and think about these different methods in your next design.